Hello and welcome to Civil Works, where we look at useful tips and information in building construction and civil engineering. Are you wondering how you can overcome the high cost of concrete works in your ongoing projects? You want to slash your construction costs without compromising on quality? Well, in this video, we'll be looking at an innovative and cost-effective construction technique that can revolutionize your projects. In recent times, the cost of cement has been skyrocketing, impacting on construction costs, particularly for multi-story buildings. To tackle this challenge, builders and developers are turning to less expensive construction methods, one of which we'll be discussing today, and that is ribbed slabs. Ribbed slabs are a type of reinforced concrete flooring system that utilizes a thin slab supported by a series of narrow ribs underneath. These ribs help reduce the overall weight of the slab while maintaining its load bearing capacity, making it a cost effective solution for multi-story buildings. The voids between the ribs can be filled with lightweight material or left empty to further reduce the amount of concrete used. This not only saves on material costs but also reduces the overall weight of the structure, leading to smaller sizes of beams, columns, and foundations. Rib slabs can result in a reduction in concrete volume of up to 30% compared to the more traditional solid slabs. Now, the principle, structural principle behind rib slabs is quite fascinating, and I want to just briefly um, explain it. Now, concrete is very strong in compression, but not so when in tension. This means that it can sustain a lot of load when pressed together, but can easily crack under tension, like when it's been forced to bend. To improve the concrete section's ability to resist this tension or tensile forces, steel bars are introduced, hence the name reinforcement. Now, the slab has a compression zone that is above and a tension zone that is below, separated by the neutral axis. In reinforced concrete design, the tensile strength of the concrete is assumed to be zero, that is, it's ignored, with the steel reinforcement providing support against the tensile stresses. This therefore allows for some of the concrete in a tension zone to be removed as they are redundant. The only concrete needed will be to give sufficient cover to the steel bars with factors like durability and fire resistance as considerations. The removed concrete can then be replaced with hollow blocks or left as voids. The resulting construction is lighter than solid cross section making it suitable for long span in residential or commercial buildings. Now, rib slabs can be classified into two main categories based on the type of void formers used. We have permanent void formers and the removable void formers. Now, for the permanent one, these remain in place after the concrete has cured becoming an integral part of the structure and in some cases provide additional strength and stiffness to the slab. Examples include clay pots, sandcrete blocks and polystyrene blocks. Now the removable void formers, these are temporary and are removed after the concrete has cured and started gaining strength. They are typically used to reduce the amount of concrete needed and can be reused in future projects. Examples include polymer pots and fabricated timber forms. Each type of void former has its own advantage and disadvantage and I want to spend a moment to look at these pros and cons seeing that it will help decide the option to be used. Clay pots these provide good thermal insulation. They are lightweight, making them easy to handle and to place. 
On the flip side, however, they are limited in availability, can be expensive, and have a tendency to damage because of its uh, brittle nature. Now for the polystyrene, polystyrene is also known as um, EPS. These provide good thermal insulation. They are lightweight and very easy to lay. On the downside, the biggest drawback of polystyrene is the cost. It's rather expensive. It's extreme lightweight, makes it difficult to lay in windy conditions. And during concreting, effort must be made to keep them from being displaced by the flowing concrete. Another of the permanent void formers is the use of sancrete blocks. The advantage of the sancrete blocks is that one is that it's easily available, it's also quite affordable, and it's easy to lay. Now, its major drawback would be that, you know, its weight. You know, though lighter than concrete, it is heavier than the other materials being considered as void formers and may not significantly reduce slab loads if uh, weight of slab reduction is a desired, um, desired goal. Now, for the removable pots, we have the polymer. We have polymer pots. These removable forms are tough, they are lightweight, and they can support construction loads without getting damaged. They are, they are also simple and they are straightforward to install. The disadvantage of these polymer pots is the cost and availability. It can be quite expensive to buy, or even when hiring, it's also expensive, and it's just not easily available. Now, for the prefabricated timber, the major advantage of the timber forms is that it's made from readily available wood from the market, whether it's the planks or plywood or marine ply. It's just available. Now, it offers great flexibility as its shape can be customized to the structural design. In other words, once the design is complete, any size or shape, it means that you know, we can fabricate it easily. Now, it's also easy to lay. It's also, they are all generally it's quite easy. All the different ones are quite easy to lay. Now, on the flip side, timber forms require skilled workmanship for its fabrication. You know, and since it's wood, durability, you know, can also be an issue. Now, regardless of the type of void formers used, rib slabs offer a lot of benefits. Now, let's take a closer look at some of these benefits of rib slab construction. One of the key advantage is a significant reduction in the amount of concrete needed. Less concrete, less cement, less cost. Now this not only saves on costs but also reduces the overall weight of the structure, leading to smaller sizes of beams, columns and foundations. Slab concrete volumes can reduce by up to 30% while reinforcements in the slab can get up to 40% reduction, leading to significant savings in construction costs. Additionally, rib slabs offer improved thermal and acoustic insulation properties, making them ideal for residential and commercial buildings. Another benefit of the rib slab construction is the flexibility it offers in design. The voids between the ribs can be filled with a variety of materials, including lightweight concrete, to achieve the desired structural and aesthetic requirements. This allows for greater creativity and uh, customization in design while maintaining cost effectiveness. Also, rib slab construction is relatively quick and easy to install compared to other methods. The use of removable void formers allows for rapid construction, reducing labor costs and construction time. This makes rib slabs an attractive option for projects with tight schedules or budget constraints. Now, in terms of sustainability, rib slab construction offers several advantages. By reducing the amount of concrete needed, rib slabs help to minimize the environmental impact of construction including carbon emissions and resource depletion. 
Additionally, the use of lightweight materials and removal void from us further reduces the environmental footprint of the building. Overall, rib slab construction is a cost-effective, sustainable, and versatile option for your next project. Whether you're building a residential complex, commercial building, or industrial facility, rib slab offers a range of benefits that can help you achieve your construction goals. Now, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found the video informative, be sure to subscribe to Civil Works for more construction insights. Share this video with your friends and colleagues in the industry and leave a comment below with your thoughts and your questions. Stay tuned for our next video and we'll explore more innovative construction techniques. Until next time, happy building. Bye-bye.